So Kager is not a function that exists within Excel, but it is certainly something that we calculate all the time when we build financial models. So here's the formula for Kager. And you know we're looking at a simple example here where the growth rate's always 30%. Well, the Kager for the four forecast periods, starting at 100 historically, let's say this was actual, and then the next, you know, the next four periods were projections. Right, and so the Kager here, starting with the actual going all the way to the future is 30%, but what if those different rates were different, right? What if the growth rate in one year was 7%, you had negative growth, how would, um, how would that change the Kager? So the Kager is that smoothing thing that tells you what's the compound annual growth rate, what's the annualized growth rate across all of this, right? So it's something in between all of these. And that's an important metric you see in many financial models. Well, wouldn't it be cool if instead of having to sort of revisit this formula where you constantly forget where the parentheses are, or whatever, you just always had in your Excel a function called Kager. Well, so this becomes a little bit more useful, certainly, than the growth rate function. We're gonna create the formula by taking the final result, right? We're always gonna want the final result. First, I'm just gonna create the formula, right? In fact, I made it here, so let's just bear, uh, use this. So I've created, you know, I take the final result, then I take the prior, you know, the, the beginning, the baseline result, V beginning, and then I I raise that to one over the number of periods that um, we're, we're doing this over. So, right, so I'm just gonna take this formula and I'm gonna create a lambda for it. How do I do that? I'm gonna start with this, and I know that I actually really need three parameters in this case, right? I need the big, the V final. Let's just use the terminology in this formula, V beginning, right? It doesn't matter what we call it, and then T, right? So those are now three parameters, and now I gotta put in the calculation. Unfortunately, I can't, as I've mentioned, I can't just paste in this calculation because this has specific cell references, but what instead I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to V begin, V final, I'm sorry here, this is actually V final, right? Then this is V begin, and then this is one over T. Let me close this lambda up with parentheses. It's gonna give me a calculation, and if you recall, the reason why it's giving me a calculation is because I haven't put in those second that second set of parentheses, which is, again, unique to lambda, which basically tells me, well, I don't know what any of this is, so why don't you give me what V final is? Okay, so here's a, a possible V final, here's a possible V begin, and here's a possible time T. So I noticed, by the way, I don't have a, a, a T here, right? So uh, the, the user didn't actually input a T. So what I, what I need to do in here is I'm gonna hard code just to let Excel do this, and then I'm gonna have to sort of think through this. So then I put that in, and I've got that 7.6%. The formula works. Now I'm gonna copy and paste this lambda function and I'm gonna create something that I can reuse. So here we go, let's uh, let's do it. We've got this new function, we're gonna call this Kager. I'm gonna paste it right in, and again, I'm gonna say, okay, well, the V final equals value at final uh, period. V begin equals value at beginning period, lastly t equals number of periods. Click OK, click close, and now I can invoke this. Rather than having to remember this calculation every time, I'm just going to click Kager. I got to remember that this is the V final V begin, and now in this case, I've got four periods. I can get formulaic about it. I can hard code four and get that 7.6, or I could put in any formula I want here, right? I can I can basically say, well, how many columns are in between? So that'll give me the value of four. I can make this as dynamic I want, or I can also ask a user for a user input for the number of periods, but um, this enables you now to use Kager whenever you want.